Hi guys, this is Sushma from Mildane Solutions. Today we will focus on the top 10 technologies for 2020. This video will give you options and help you decide your career path. Beginning with number 10, we have Full Stack Developer. A full stack developer is an invaluable asset for any business. Thus, full stack development is swiftly gaining popularity as it's becoming a much sought after technical role for many organizations. A full stack developer works with both front and back end of website or application. You can see all the popular certifications, which is React.js, AngularJS, Node.js, JavaScript, and MongoDB. The main prerequisites to become a full stack developer under front end is you will have to know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, few programming languages like Ruby, PHP, Python, experience with databases, design ability, and knowledge of servers. A full stack developer's salary ranges anywhere between 5 lakh as pressure to up to 18 lakhs per annum today. So uh, coming to the companies which hire a full stack developer, we have many examples like Wipro, Zoho, Epirex, Source, Fuse, etc. At the ninth position, we have Identity Access Management, which is also known as IAM, that is IAM, is a critical part of any enterprise security plan as it is inextricably linked to the security and productivity of organization in today's digitally enabled economy. I am refers to the IT security discipline, framework, and solutions for managing digital identities. The goal of identity access management is to ensure that any given identity has access to the right resources. Few of the main certifications under identity access management are SailPoint, Okta, CISSP, ForgeRock, IBM, Oracle. These are the companies which provide identity access management facilities. Coming to the prerequisites, um, you will have to know or have knowledge of uh, database, databases like SQL, understanding authentication, authorization model, and device interaction. The average salary of an identity access uh, analyst starts from 5 lakhs per annum and an engineer or a consultant can earn up to 20 lakhs per annum. Companies generally hiring identity access managers or uh, analysts are Genpat, IBM, HP, Ericsson, and the likes of it. Moving to the eighth position, we have automation testing. Automated testing or test automation is a method in software testing that makes use of special software tools to control the execution of tests and then compares actual tests with predicted or expected results. Few popular certifications under automation testings are Selenium, APM, Cucumber, Catalan Studio, etc. As we see here, as a base, uh, as a prerequisite, we need basic knowledge of testing, manual testing experience, and database fundamentals to start with. The average salary of uh, an automation tester starts from anywhere between six lakhs and can go up to fifty lakhs, considering his experience and expertise in the field. Automation testing roles are in high demand with companies like Cognizant, Hexaware, Infosys, Accenture, and the likes of it. At number seven, we have cybersecurity, the most important field in the current scenario, but globally, we are falling short of cybersecurity personnel. The global cybersecurity industry is ex estimated to cross $220 billion mark by 2021. Cybersecurity is the body of technologies processes and practices designed to protect networks, computers and data from attack, damage and unauthorized access. We have various uh, certification courses under cybersecurity, CEH, CISSP, CISM, etc. The prerequisites to become a cybersecurity personnel is knowledge of computer networking, Linux, Unix, PowerShell, languages like uh, Python, Ruby, Perl, PHP, JavaScript, and understanding of HTTP communications. The annual salary of a cybersecurity personnel can range anywhere between 12 lakhs and can go up to 80 lakhs based on his experience and expertise. Every company who is serious about cybersecurity in their organization is on a hiring spree today. And especially companies like Siemens, STP, IBM, Honeywell are always on lookout for cybersecurity personnel. At number six, we have DevOps. 
DevOps is a set of practices that automates the process between software development and IT teams in order that they can build, test and release software faster and more reliably. The concept of DevOps is founded is founded on building a culture of collaboration between teams that historically functioned in related silos. Under DevOps, we have various certifications like Docker, Puppet, Kubernetes, Chef, etc. As a prerequisite, you need to know basic scripting language like Python, knowledge of cloud computing, understanding of Linux and Unix. The average salary of a DevOps uh, analyst can start from 15 lakhs and dub go up to 20 lakhs as a fresher. We have many companies like Cisco, IBM and Honeywell who are looking for DevOps experts. Now moving to our top 5 technologies at number 5 we have Big Data Analytics. Dealing with massive amount of structured and unstructured data is called Big Data. Big Data Analytics examines large volume of data to uncover hidden patterns, correlations and other insights. Popular certifications under Big Data Analytics are Hadoop, Apache Spark, MongoDB, etc. As a prerequisite for big data analytics, you need to be aware of data warehousing, computer, computational framework, and sound business knowledge. A big data analyst can earn anywhere from 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs per annum. We have many MNCs like Qualcomm, Google, and Apple who regularly hire big data analysts, and they are completely in demand. Moving to number four, we have artificial intelligence. AI is a wide-ranging branch of computer science concerned with building smart machines capable of performing tasks that, that typically require human intelligence. AI refers to stimulation of human intelligence in the machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. Today, AI is used in our day-to-day -day activities like smart assistants, for example, your Siri and Alexa. Under AI, we have various specializations for like deep learning, data science, machine learning, NLP, which is natural language processing. Your main prerequisites for AI is having a strong hold on mathematics, programming languages, and analytical skills. The annual average salary of an artificial intelligence personnel starts anywhere between 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum. Many companies which are Keenly looking forward to AI uh, roles are Fidelity, Accenture, Aeon, Globofos, etc. Now we are reaching our top three technologies. At number three, we have cloud computing. Cloud computing is delivery of computer services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the internet to offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. We have many cloud computing facilitators like Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, Oracle, and Google Cloud. The prerequisites you should be aware of uh, to become a cloud computing analyst is basic understanding about distributed computing, understanding of networking like VLAN, IP address, VNet, subnet, ability to run scripts, and cloud storage system. The average expected salary is anywhere from 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs per annum. Companies like Siemens, Red Hat, Deloitte, and IBM always look for cloud computing experts. At number two, we have the most popular and upcoming technology, robotics process automation, popularly known as RPA. RPA allows organizations to automate tasks just like human being was doing across applications and systems. Robotic automation interacts with existing IT architecture with no complex system integration required on how is RPA different from AI? In simple words, RPA is a software robot that mimics human actions, whereas AI is a simulation of human intelligence by machines. We have certifications like Blue Prism, UiPath, WorkFusion, Automation Anywhere under RPA. Every certification under RPA has a different set of prerequisite, like WorkFusion requires sound knowledge of Java and Selenium. UiPath and Automation Anywhere requires good knowledge of programming. Whereas Blue Prism is known for its simplicity and even a non-technical personnel can learn easily. An RPA personnel can fetch an average salary starting from 15 lakhs and can reach up to 50 lakhs per annum. We have various companies moving towards RPA with a lot of R&D work under their umbrella and especially companies like TCS, IBM, Accenture are heavily invested in the same. Coming to our number one technology or the number one training course we are going to talk about is data science. 
Data science is a blend of various tools, algorithms, machine learning principles with the goal to discover hidden patterns from the raw data. We have many certifications under data science, namely machine learning, deep learning, data science with R or Python language. As a prerequisite, one should be able to understand data mining, maths and statistics, have soft software engineering skills, knowledge of risk analysis, and at least one programming language like Python or R. The average salary of a data scientist starts from 8 lakhs and can go up to 20 lakhs per annum. Companies constantly looking for data scientists are Oracle, Google, Apple, IBM, etc. We hope you like this video. Please be kind enough to like our video and subscribe to our channel.